Do you see what I have today? I have the 2022 Lamborghini Urus. This is the fastest SUV. Yes, Lamborghini needed an SUV and they decided to make this baby. So yes, I am matching today, but this car is amazing and I'm gonna tell you about it today. So as usual, I'm gonna show you the outside, then I'm gonna show you the inside, and then you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna go driving, all right? So let's start right now. If you're wondering how much this car is, it starts at $225,000. Yes, you need to have those pockets. Yes, I know. This is still a Lambo, so you know the zero to 60 is 3.1 seconds. So we're still gonna be flying a little bit, even if the car is bigger, we're gonna be flying. It's 641 horsepower. I'm just, I'm just so excited. If you're wondering about the engine, it's a twin turbo V8 and the top speed is 190. This car has been loaned to us by California Auto Rental. So if you need any of those sexy cars, I'm gonna show you. They have some more sexy cars over here. Over there, it's a bunch of them. Carl Gary, he got you. Let's talk about the front end. The front end is so sexy. It's aggressive, it's angry. It looks like an angry bird a little bit because you know it's kind of like pointy, but I love it. Also right here is the camera. It's a little hidden, but it's pretty big. Do you see those headlights? You see the Y shape? Let me get you closer, right here. You see this? Well, let's go to the back. Same Y shape in the back too. Also, if you go inside, Look right here, the speaker cover, a bunch of Ys. On the pedal, a bunch of other Ys. And there is one more, right there. Guys, Ys again. I mean, this is really awesome, I think, like to make sure that the design on the outside and the design on the inside are matching. You know me, you know, I need to hear that little engine, little twin turbo V8, I need to hear it, let's hear it. You heard that? I heard that. Let's talk about them words. How sexy are they? With this little accent of orange all around the black rim. And then, you see this? And then obviously the emblem because we need to remember this is a Lambo. Also, there is a little thing that you guys might not even see. On the tires, what is this L? Yes, we're in a Lambo, definitely. The back is, beautiful i love that there is no wipers because we don't need them you know um also you see this right here carbon fiber carbon fiber over here then obviously lamborghini because everybody needs to know what you're driving and i don't know if you guys remember when i reviewed the lambo Uricon, it was a lot of things with hexagon so lambo loves hexagon so i'm gonna show you a bunch of them try to remember it's gonna be a bunch but Right here already, you see them hexagon everywhere. One, two, three, four, five, six, you know, six sides. Let me go to the side. You see also, when I was telling you about the Ys, there's some Ys here too. Right here, yes. And keep that in mind for the inside. Let's open the trunk and see how big that is. Probably big. All right, so this is pretty spacious. I don't think I need to get in because this is big enough. Again, the inside, a bunch of eggs are gone. And I can tell right here, super soft. This is a pretty decent sized trunk. Also, these two buttons are very cool because when you load your car, you can lower it. And when you're done, you can put it back. So also what I want to show you is that when you put the car in reverse, look how small it is. let's get in so wow this is beautiful the door is beautiful you know the accent of orange obviously and then Alcantara really nice really nice the seat wow that's amazing those seats are you know sports seats obviously and 
Very nice. All right, so you remember when I was telling you about the hexagon? Hexagon on here, hexagon on the back seat. So inside, how to start the car? Because that's the most important thing. There is a little lift right here. You lift it, start, stop, press it, put it down. You gotta put it down. Also, you know, if you're a little lazy, you can put your finger through it and start, I mean, my finger is too big, but you can put your finger through it and start it right there. When it comes to the gear selector, it's huge, huge. It's right here in the middle. You pull it back, it puts the car in reverse. To park the car, it's on the left. There is a P, you park it right here. It's a little tricky to put it in drive. So to put it in drive, you gotta use the shift pedal in right here. That's how you put it in drive. It's not on here. And if you look at the shifter, it's pretty cool. It's angular and it's like, it fits your hand perfectly. The left, there is a switch that says anima. So you're like, what is this? So those are your drive mode. So there is six different ones. They're all in Italian. So if you don't know Italian, I don't know what to tell you. I can help you maybe with the beginning strata. That's probably for street, uh, sport. Well, that's sport and the rest you figure it out. To the right, there is another shifter. It's ego, suspension, chassis and steering. That's what you need to do. You need to decide on your mode and then on how you want the, the car to drive and then that's it. Here we go. All right, the back. The back is pretty spacious. You know, I'm six feet. Uh, the leg room is pretty cool. The ceiling, uh, it's, it's a little low, but you know it's because the, the back is like kind of like sloped. So yeah, but it's, it's still decent. I can sit back here. The leather is still very like very smooth. A bunch of Alcantara. Yeah. I wouldn't mind sitting in the back. So back here, you know, we can sit three, kind of. If you only two, we can put it down. And we have our cup holders right there. Still have our Ys in the back too. Nice seats, very comfortable. All right, climate control, you can't miss it. And if you look in the back of it, do you see? hexagon again remember earlier when i was telling you you're on your own well you're not totally on your own if you don't know italian so you go here and you see so you see all the modes so strata i guess you see the street over there so we're in the street sport um i don't know if we're on a track but it's at the sunset so maybe at sunset you want to go faster corsa uh i don't know where we are but this is supposed to let you know where we are. Sabia, so I guess there is like a dirt, yes. Terra, more dirt. And Neve, oh, we're in the snow now. We're in the fucking snow. I think that's pretty cool. That's helpful and, you know, and always they have the Lambo Urus so you know what you're driving. Also in the middle, I don't know if I'm feeling it. Those, you know, like to, yes, to do what you do, but like those ones don't do nothing, so. I feel like on such an expensive car, truck, it shouldn't be any button that don't do nothing. We're gonna floor it right away because there is space. So you know me. We're on normal right now, but we're flooring. 3.1 second. Okay! Yo! This is a SUV, but this is not an SUV. I guess it's a Lambo still, so they're like, uh, yeah. We're still Lambo. What, you, what were you thinking? You thought like we would be slow. Uh, zero to 60 is 3.1 seconds. So I definitely felt it. <laughs> My heart is racing. You know me. I love fucking cars. So the driving, I mean, I just started, but you know, it's already fast. So me, I'm sold. It's fast. We're good. You want this. I mean, you know, I'm not super big on trucks or SUVs. And uh, because I just like cars and I feel like the handling usually is better and you know all that good stuff But this is like pretty nice so far. I mean, I'm higher. I'm not used to be high like this I like to be really low. Okay again guys. Let's put it. Let's change the mode. Let me change the mode on sports. Let's see Guys, oh my fucking god I'm sorry for cursing so much, but this shit was like oh you want to play with me right now? That's that's what it said. It said you want to play. I'm going to let you play. It's fine. Yeah, play play with me. Wow. Guys, I cannot. 
Um, yes, because he did. I, I floated. He was like, oh, don't play with me. Woo! Yes. I love this car. I mean, you know, they say it's the fastest truck. Um, I, 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 I can't believe that. I, I would agree so far. Uh, fastest SUV. Um, let's see. Are we doing it again? A little bit, please. I'm sorry. But one more time. Wow. This car tells you, oh, you want more? You want more? Okay, I got more. You know, when you think like you're already at the peak, it's like, oh, no, I got another gear for you. Another and another. Guys, my heart. My heart. Uh, I know with me, we're only going to talk about speed and stuff, but let's talk about the handling. It's pretty like the steering wheel is pretty soft. You know, it's not hard to steer, obviously. Um, it's holding the road when you go fast, too. I, I just have no complaints with uh, this uh, SUV. It's beautiful. And um, let's say when I'm going to have kids, that's probably the SUV that I want. Yes. So they can be in the back yelling and I can be like flooring. Yes. But guys, this is amazing. I really like it. I didn't think I would like it so much. But hey, it's a Lambo. What was I thinking? I'm, I'm kidding myself thinking like, oh, it's going to be a regular. No, it's not regular. It's a fucking Lambo still. So, wow. I'm amazed. I think you guys, if you have the pockets for it, 225000 uh no, not hundred thousand, two hundred and twenty-five thousand uh, dollars. If you get that, I recommend highly. Re Can you turn, lady? Yeah, I, I'm sorry, but this lady wasn't trying to turn, and it was her turn. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna return it because you know I'm getting way too excited about this. I'm returning it, and uh, we're good. But guys, I recommend it.